was like, yes. And um, we've all got that feeling like, oh my God, have we actually got to come home? Like, in a couple of days. Like, we don't want to ever go home. But we just, we had this last night, we just kept saying, we've got to be grateful for what we've had. We've got to be grateful. Lots of people don't get any holidays. And then we were like, you yeah, but we didn't want to go home in two days. <laughs> so we're doing that thing. Um, Yes, yeah, so it's a bit overcast this morning, so we are going into Cartagena because lots of you have recommended that. So, um, teenagers seem all right about it. They haven't gone into full, like, moodiness. That's a strimmer. Just like home, huh? Um, yeah, and so mum and dad are going to see... They'll walk, for us, walk with us for a bit and then probably sit and have a beer somewhere. So, yeah, looking forward to it because lots of you have recommended it. I'm looking forward to seeing... The Roman Amphitheatre, apparently it's quite something to see. It's a bit of a historic old town, so that's where we're going this morning. Then come back this afternoon, flop, maybe do a barbecue tonight. Sounds good? What do you reckon? We well, you're going to come with us anyway. So, um, just going to... I can hear those dulcet tones. Oh, look at this. Well, I've been downstairs. Working out. Mark's been up here having his extramarital affair. How are you, darling? He's good. Oh, isn't this breeze gorgeous for a workout yeah. this morning? Off you go. Woohoo! And. Oh, it's our favourite. It's our favourite. Who was next? <laughs> this one. <laughs> well done, baby. <laughs> isn't he good? It's really making a difference. Morning has morning. broken. Sorry, darling. She just laughs. The hey. Hello, morning. morning. Maddie's reading his lyrics. Piano oh. man, he makes a stand in the auditorium. Sitting on, she sings the song, the words she knows, the tune she hums. Oh, I feel so real. Okay. You know, I did... One of the amazing things about Maddie is she gets so absorbed in anything she sees. So if you go and see Not a film. Anything, film, she's discerning. Well, no, anything <laughs> she, she loves. Yeah, anything yeah. she loves, obviously. But she. Yeah, no, 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 she has to love it. But then you know you're going to relive the film, you're going to relive the lyrics, you're going to... And in fact, you often remember the whole chunks of the script. Well, I've just Years realized... ago, when she was about four, Nanny Di came in and asked her about a film. Do you remember it? Yeah. And an hour Three later... Three days later. We were still sat there. Three days she later, told I like this. her the story from the beginning. Okay, yeah. madam. Right yes. at the end. No, but she's just told me and some of the lyrics from Tiny Dancer. Yeah. One line. Have you heard it? No. It's so moving, I can't even say it because I start to cry. I've say already it. been crying. Say you said, Maddie said. Hold me close to Tiny Dancer. Count the headlights on the highway. Listen. Lay me down in sheets of linen. <laughs> it's been a busy day today. Oh, God. So in other words, it's the end of his life. <laughs> I'm off. We have no drama ever in this family. That's the one thing. <laughs> it's sad. We it are sad. not dramatic. I've just realised, you know, we had a copyright infringement on one of our films. It was Maddie singing an Elton John song in the review of Rocket Man. Because <laughs> she sang it so oh, closely. Oh, yeah, the algorithm picks up yeah. singing. You're not even allowed to hum stuff. You can't, can't hum a tune. Can't hum a tune. <laughs> no, but I suppose when you think of the artist who's written it, it would be very annoying if everybody uses your music. Well, I get it, but if you're singing it, then it's not... I think singing's a bit much, I have to I, say. I get it if you're playing Especially when you're singing it and you mangle it as much as you do. They, they can't play... Well, if the algorithm's picking up, it just shows what a good singer I am. No, it doesn't, because it's not picking it up when so you sing it. So didn't deliver that line very well. And it's picking it up when you sing it. Morning, Kiki, how are you? Did you sleep well? Also Missing skateboarding. Line, yeah. It it's watching skate videos. Oh, are you? Oh. Sorry guys, I know you don't like me sweating, but this is me having showered 15 minutes after a workout. Soaking wet. So we're in the car, Heading. having a family argument that we don't know what it is. Heading to Cartagena. <laughs> And we are heading to, everyone say it together, one, two, three. Cartagena! Cartagena. I think we need a little ombaleo. No, no, no. No, we really don't. So, um... We're heading off there. We don't really know what we're going for, what it's going to be like, but Mark is approaching it as he would Any if shoot. he was doing a shoot for a TV so show. I'm heading to the harbour. Which is head to the harbour. Park the old folk. Yeah, park so, the old folk. Well, the old folk could walk for a bit and then see, and then you can park whenever you want to park. You're not parking me, mate. <laughs> we are. You're not. Well, I want to be the first person to park. 
<laughs> Betty wants to be parked immediately. Welcome I can't see Nanny Di. Nanny Di is there. Say hi to the subs, Nanny Di. Hi, sir. Now look around the side. There she is. There I am. She's there. Um, so Betty is the first to be parked. Dad may be reversed into a <laughs> into a bar second. <laughs> Um, we've got two teenagers in the back. How are you, teenagers? Okay, I'm telling you, that's a lot. We just got a thumbs up. That's massive. So that's good. That's the reviews good. are out for the new Godzilla movie starring Kiki's friend, Millie Bobby Brown. We're Millie so excited. Bobby Brown. And she's on um, Lorraine tomorrow over here. Lisa just texted me. You know my friend that Lisa. That means she's acted with Kyle Chandler, who is like another man crush of we mine. We love him. I think we've got to start listing the men you don't have a crush on, Mark. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's really hard. I can't even start. Yeah, but you started to just man no, crush on body. No, I'm not man parts. crushing on everyone. Yeah, I'm man <laughs> crushed on Arnie Schwarzenegger's Josh, right bar bicep. Josh Brolin's chin. Josh Brolin. <laughs> Josh Brolin's <laughs> chin. <laughs> His ball sack chin. <laughs> Mum, did you have a crush when you were young on a famous person? No. Never? Not even, really? John, not even John Wayne or Clint Eastwood. Not Frank Sinatra. Oh, thanks, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> not Frank Sinatra. No. Were there no pop stars? What about Cliff no, Richard? Weren't. Cliff Richard? Elvis. Vera Lynn. Elvis. Vera Elvis. Lynn. Elvis. <laughs> Elvis was my crush. You had one on, on Elvis? I had, my two hugest ones were Elvis and Marilyn. Yeah, I had a bit of a classic yeah. nanny die, like Elvis and Marilyn. Right. <laughs> the bisexual <laughs> granny. Mm. What about you girls? What's your major crush at the moment? Taryn Edgerton. Taryn Edgerton? Yeah. And Kiki. I'll cry for Kiki doesn't oh, have one. Oh, she'll cry. Oh my God, she's got it bad. Kiki doesn't have a crush. I'll say it. Jack Dylan Razor. Is that it, Kiki? Uh, she can't speak. She can't even say it. Teddy, did you ever have a crush on any movie star? Yes, you did. You must have That done. one who kept swimming, Esther Williams. <laughs> <laughs> that one who kept swimming. Oh, you like a swimmer, do you, you Dad? You like a swimmer. <laughs> and he likes cross-eyed blondes. Yeah. Right. No, who was that cross-eyed cross actress? Blondes. I remember there was yeah, an actress yeah. that he really liked. Neff. Yeah, yeah. Neff, but but you know they say that all great big movies female movie stars have a slightly cross eye because yeah. it looks amazing on film there's yeah. something very engaging and beautiful about it that is true, it's true. <laughs> that is actually true google it google it if you have an eye I don't remember your uh? what you said that I looked at Kiki and she just looked at me like no it is actually true though you look everyone has a slightly one eye that looks sllightly empty <laughs> she looked at me with that one so, uh, so we're off to Cartagena. God knows what we'll find. Um, God knows how many family arguments we might have that we don't know what they're about, but we're having fun. Say goodbye to the subs for now, kids. Adios! 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 Hasta la vista! So it's sometime later and we're still talking. Oh, shit. God. Nearly died. We're okay now, though. Uh, we were just talking about, we were still talking about crushes and we started to talk about Lauren Bacall. And Mark met Lauren Bacall. Hello. Tell yeah, me your story. Very old. But keep it, your was eyes the, it was at the National Television Awards. Hello. And having just come off the back of interviewing Vic Reeves and Bob Mortimer, who you've worked with, and not a single word they said made any sense, but we were all pissing out. I think I was quite drunk. We were all pissing ourselves laughing, and then in came Lauren Bacall, smoking a fag. Wow. Back in the day at the Royal Air Ball. And no did she have an then incredible trouser pantsuit on? Yes, yeah. she did. She looked so cool, so droll, so sort of matter of fact. I think she was in some kind of TV series or something. Did you salivate? And then right at the end, I, I have to confess, I admitted I had a... No, I said, I've had a, I had a childhood crush on you. She said, a childhood crush? You must have been a fetus. <laughs> did you hear that? Because I was that. Did you hear that? Mark said, I had a childhood crush on you, he said to Lauren McCord. And she, she said, looked at me witheringly oh, I'm not so and then said, you, you must have been a fetus. Because <laughs> I mean, you, you must know. have been a fetus. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh. That's what Lauren Bacall said to him when he said I had a childhood yeah. crush. Oh. Really embarrassed Darling, yeah. you must have been Darling, a fetus. just like that. And I was just like, oh my God. I mean, she was beautiful still. Yeah, she got a great face. Oh, that yeah, that but that bone structure sees you through right a bit to the like end. Bit like Vanessa Redgrave, really. <laughs> Had those sweaty eyes. I think it's because she was always smoking. 
Yeah, yeah she just had smoke in her eyes. She was smoking when she wasn't smoking. <laughs> like Laurie Bridges in her Yeah, yeah. I chose the wrong day to give up clue sniffing. <laughs> arrived but we're having a bit of trouble finding anything aren't we guys yeah yes we can't yeah we can't go onto the port oh hang on i'm just gonna wipe this <laughs> what <laughs> can we go home typical teenager uh, but we are going to um we're going to persevere and try and find somewhere to stop I think it's a good bet. At least to Plaza have a coffee, Espania, if nothing else. It's always a kind of good bet, isn't it? Plaza de España, Mom said, means car park. No, no. Oh. No, no, no. What did you say meant car, car park, Mom? No, no. There was a car There was a sign for a car park. Yeah. Ah. Something. Well, it all boulevards lead somewhere. Yes. But where? It's in the nature of a boulevard. What's your experience with a boulevard? <laughs> Do you think a boulevard is a hopeful thing? I think no. it's very hopeful. No. <laughs> well, I, we obviously started at the wrong end of it, so it can only get better. Exactly. I might do a little song here. I wouldn't, because it's quite Things stressful. It's quite stressful driving in strange better. cities. Oh, no, Add into the mix you can singing. Only get <laughs> okay, so a bit of persistence at Cartagena, and uh, we headed east, I think, out of the town, out of the harbour town. Um, and if you head along, you get to sort of like almost an old fort type thing on a hill up there. And then we got to something that Kiki's been wanting since the get go, which is some azure sea. And look what we found, just round the corner. A perfect bay that's not too busy. Cartagena, Cartagena, I don't know what this bay is called. But it looks quite idyllic, doesn't it? So here we are, Kiki wanted an idyllic blue sea. I'm not too sure if that's too windy. Kiki wanted idyllic blue aquamarine. There you go, look. Just round the corner from Cartagena. We're on the outskirts. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? None of us brought our bloody swimming trunks. Stunning, 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 stunning. And we're sat just there. Oh, it's so funny, look. I'm standing on this tiny ledge here and me and Kiki are both going, Hoo! And I'm just wondering how we're going to make the Himalayas. Mark, tell them why I'm filming Because just over there you can hear and see hubbub. So he said we need hubbub. We Does need anyone Spanish know where the word hubbub, hubbub comes from? General hubbub. Do General you know? hubbub. Look. Hubba bubble. I oh, really I enjoyed my octopus. Oh, and tell us where hubbub comes from. Galega. I don't know where hubbub oh. comes from. I know where a mug comes from to run a mug. It's a Philippines. It's a Filipino word because lots of men in the Philippines at a certain time, certain age, used to run a muck. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, we're what, in the muck? Run a muck. Girls, you okay? Teddy? Bubbly, Does it get better for you than this? No. Bubble, bubble. This is your favourite place to be, isn't it? By the sea, eating oh, fish. Oh, yeah. When I was Betty, so obviously the clams were no good. They were horrible. <laughs> <laughs> she hated the clams. The clams were terrible. <laughs> no, look, she's oh. wiping the plate. And the really good sign of this place is that most of the people behind us doing yeah, no. the hubbub are Spanish. So, what do you think so, Spanish for hubbub is? Hubbub. 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 We literally can't leave here, Mark, without what? all the subs are going to ask us where we are. And we're I've just say said we don't know. slightly to the east of Cartagena. No, that's no good. We've got to tell them what it's called. Well, I haven't seen. What's it called? Restaurante Las Maras. 
Like a there you go. From Betty's own lips. And there's diving. They do diving here too. It's so crystal clear. We just we were just down by the cove. Vicky, I didn't finish that. No, I know you didn't. We just went down a little cove there, and it was like something out of a Bond movie. About 15 people came out of this tiny from all over the world. Every every nationality. Are they behind me? Am I talking too loudly? Uh, I keep putting this on. Every nationality of the world, and they'd all just been diving. And in there, the fish looks like it's literally just been caught. There's sea urchins in there. Yeah, oh, whole fish, yeah. yeah. I can imagine you'd quite like sea urchin, Mum. Yeah. Oh, is that what Teddy's eating? No, he's no. having sardines. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you get these things? Do you have to go inside? What? Mmm. What have you got, Ted? Sardines. Sardine. Sardine. They look great, your sardines. Mm. Oh. What have you got, Betty? Clams. Oh, look, Betty's got clams done beautifully in just the right amount of olive oil. Some calamaris. Olive oil, garlic parsley, squeeze of lemon. Only the Spanish do something special with their clam. Look at these lovely tomatoes. What's that? Oh, it's, seaweed. Uh, no, no, no. It's, um, oh, what are they called? What is it? Asparagus. Fine leaves. No! What? Look at oh, mine. Oh, oh, oh. Mark, your favourite. That's what they are. Oh, no, I hate those. Um, no. Capers. 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 Mm. Yes. <laughs> Look at mine. And Mark's got octopi. Good. Try some. No, Seriously, smells try. Good. Smells great. Who, and I got that in case my mum or you want that. What are you having, Nadia? Parma ham and tomato salad. No. Kiki, just have some of that garlic oh, olive oil from Betty's. Garlic, 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 garlic in your face. This has been the evil thing throughout our holiday. Aloli. Alioli oli, which is basically aioli. aioli. Salt. Salt rather than aioli. Which, yeah. which is Maddie, masses like of yeah, garlic in mayonnaise. Yeah, and we yeah, bloody yeah. love it, don't we, Mum? Mum, would, mum says, huh? Mum will have it dog. even after a major yeah. roast dinner if somebody <laughs> offers her this. You've never said no, have you? No. Ever. Like never it. Oh, it's so good. It's Smith Fresh some, some of that in it. Oh, so good. You know what, I've got some uh, calamari if you fancy some girls. You alright? Oh my god. Red sardine. Mm. Oh, it's so good, Kiki. Let me yeah, <laughs> The sardines but are so soft, Kiki. Did not lie. There they are, the divers. Going off into oh, the sea. Dad, should we get you some diving? Do you fancy going with them? <laughs> Dad's not speaking today. Have you noticed that? <laughs> You've got, you got your ladies hanging really off weird. your hands. Every time I speak to him, he just gives me sign language. <laughs> So, your dad and mum are happy. That's always lovely. It's such a nice feeling when you get this the elders is, in a satisfied is exactly place. Exactly what they want. Well, this Come is this what side. my happy place as well. Yeah. I just love to sit by the sea, eat good fish, have a nice drink, and chat, and just let the day just sit with you. Yeah. And obviously we've got two teenagers. Teenagers. Everyone knows what that's like. Yeah. They obviously just want to get back to the pool and to their phones. The Kiki seems quite happy having seen. But they're gonna just they're gonna just have to just sit with it. Look. Sometimes you have to do that. Look. So, just slightly east of Cartagena, come here. We need to get the name of this beach. Yeah, so cute. Look, look. So blue. Oh. Oh, oh my God, let's oh, see. Let's show us. Let's have a look. Oh my God, look. Yeah, it is. So, I so want to take you guys to the beach. I've been so many times. Let's go raving. No, but not the raving. No, bit. no, no, but we used to go to the nice bits too. Oh, look, there's people been snorkeling. Oh, wow, proper, proper diving. That's yeah. cool. Right? Oh, look at these. Oh, An even nicer cove. Look at this. Yeah, your dad came down here. Five English people abroad, standing on the edge. No one with a set of swimming costumes. How are you feeling? Oh my, you know me in the sea. When I'm by the sea, I'm happy always. I'm de-stressed and I'm happy always. 
<laughs> so do you want to come right, back? Darling, I want to come back. Me and Kiki want to come back and should come back, yeah, girls. We should come back with the GoPros. Yeah. No, I wouldn't go under. Yeah, I would. I go, would. We'll get a snorkel. It's fine. Actually, no, we've got to... It's yeah, less yeah. harsh on your eyes because it's natural. It's salt than chlorine. Yeah. I mean, it hurts. Let's do it. GoPros. It's hot yeah. we'll bring the GoPros. Have you heard, Mark? The yeah, let's do it. What we do is we on. We on. Pardon? It's supposed we? to wee on jellyfish things. Oh, right. I thought you were going to say wee on jellyfish, even if they haven't hurt. No, on the sting. You're supposed to take the sting out. Oh. But, um, who knows? <laughs> <sighs> So we've just been down to our little cove and I think I've got a new message from the body coach Joe Wicks, my man crush of the minute, though I think he's more my man crush of the moment. Uh, but Kiki has suggested that perhaps he's got more of a man crush on me than I have on him because he's sent more messages. And he's the one that quite correctly, he Kiki said, said, I think we've got a little bromance going on which I'm okay with. I didn't bring up bromance, he did. Bromance wasn't on the table till Mr Wicks said it. So it's all right, Joe. I understand why you're, you, you can see the potentiality of what I'm going to become. This chiseled Adonis. <laughs> I can see why you want me. God, Mark, you can't say all that into camera. You'd be furious. <laughs> yeah, you've just exposed him. Exactly. Exposed I'm him. Furious. Why? Because you just said how he sends yeah. all these videos of him saying he's just, about He's much. crazy about me. He's <laughs> crazy about me. Can't get enough of me. Calls me his lean little winner. I'm just in the, I'm in the circle of trust. Wait, does he watch our vlogs? The hot circle of trust. I hope he doesn't. <laughs> Can you hear what they're playing in the background, Betty? I can't believe it. It's Bombalea. We're, we're not coming here again. Bombalea. Bombalea. What are you all doing? Rub your fish oil on your beard. Sardines. Really? Sardines. <laughs> Make sure. Sardines. So, Betty, sardines. you're not going to be Mom, getting close to you've got to go to bed with him. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't have to actually. <laughs> she might leave. Oh. I was going to give you a big manly hug as well. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Too late. <laughs> Dad guys. has had a very different Quite dessert. Guys. What are you having? Uh, Get the coffee and the red wine. So say ta da, loves. Ta da, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas the girls and nanny die having a more sensible dessert. Yeah, a magnum. <laughs> Is that a nice ice cream? Mm. Lovely. Mm. We have no other reason to come down this tunnel other than we thought it'd be really fun to come down this tunnel. Woohoo! We're heading back after a lovely lunch and um, we've entered a military, we've entered, <laughs> why a is military it uh, zone. A military zone which we are now a little lost in. It's the most hideous area I've ever seen in Spain. Smell of gas is uh, It's a very strong smell of gas. So we're just trying to get out of it as fast as we can. You're gonna go, be going, be going back through tunnels. Just wipe this. So we're gonna go back through the tunnel and um, see if that will lead us. Look at it, look how hideous it is. And I've just gotta tap the there's a strange industrial beauty to it. <laughs> so Maddie and Kiki are trying to drown their mum. It's all play, it's not real. I nearly just jumped him holding the camera.
next move coming. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! peace for the wicked, no rest for the wicked, no rest for the working, no peace for the wicked. Anyway, we've just done two trailer reaction reviews in the bloody heat. I've just done a run, Nadia's still sunbathing, but the popcorn junkies here just got their fix of Finn Wolfhard for one minute. Well, not even one <laughs> not minute. Not even one minute, like two seconds. Five seconds. Check out our trailer reactions. We're going to have some tea, we're staying in tonight. Don't know what we're going to do, but we might be filming in the pool, because I want to fall in the pool at night and pretend I'm Elton John while singing Rocket Man. I want to find myself into space, girls. I want to go to space. I want to. I'm going with you. Can we go into space together? Yes. <laughs> Me and Maddie are going to go into space. <laughs> yeah. Decided we're going to go into space. Yeah. Do you want to come with us, Kiki? No. Oh. Just, okay, just me and you. Just me and you. Just me and Maddie are going to space. We're going to, do you want to go to the moon? Come on, Oz. Me. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. 
think I'd rather go to the moon. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know what's on Mars. Don't know. I think we might burn up. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What's happened? Oh, books! <laughs> Quick, rescue your books! <laughs> Oh, no, can you take what happened? I'm going to drop my we were just phone. lying there and the sprinklers turned on Sorry, automatically. I my phone on. <laughs> oh, that tower. Oh, God. I wonder oh. what was happening. Oh, God. I've just been squealing. Look at me. Oh, oh you, Betty. Oh, Betty, you're absolutely oh, soaking oh. wet. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so funny. Oh, God. That's awful. Oh, it's I think they should oh. be a warning absolutely on what time the sprinklers are You poor mum. Betty. Oh, God. Yeah, obviously, and, it's and, it went, and it went. <laughs> oh, look, it hasn't gone off before. Get that towel, Kate. Oh, that's it's freezing. It's too oh, cold, God. that wall. That's oh. freezing. Were you down there as well, Nat? I'm so pissed out, there's a breeze, it was... <sighs> it's so funny. You would have laughed your head off if you'd seen it. Yeah. I just heard... Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. We thought something awful. <laughs> oh, so it's really wet. Oh, your books are destroyed. That was quite annoying. That was very annoying, subs. That was quite annoying. Uh -huh. Very annoying. That was very annoying. One looks about six. Right? You do, you look about four. <laughs> <laughs> A heavenly day. Uh, and you won't believe it, I'm actually sat in our bedroom get, getting the last rays of sun. It's almost eight o'clock and I'm sunbathing in the room as it pours in from the balcony. <sighs> no, today was really nice. We didn't really do Cartagena because we couldn't park. But just finding that bay was just perfection. Oh, it was just everything you want from sort of off the beaten track. You know, perfect little cove, perfect restaurant. Mum and Dad had like a little bit too much wine, a bit woozy, a bit... It was just lovely. Mind you, I don't know what the teenagers would say if you took them off into a quiet corner and asked them actually what they thought of their day. <laughs> they just wanted to get back to the villa. God, I remember that when I was a teenager. God, every moment away from the villa was a waste wasn't it or from the hotel or from the campsite or wherever we were because you just wanted to be back hanging out swimming sunbathing on the phone to your friends they're not in the same ways they are now they're on their phone a lot but you know I just got a little bit less worried about it on this holiday because when they're on their phone and they're they're like they're listening to music and they're finding out things and they're watching grievy little films and you know, they're, they're, you know there's, a, there's a lot more good in those phones than we think, really. We, we mustn't panic. I literally can't believe how gorgeous the sun is. <sighs> Very ageing. But it is eight o'clock and I have got Factor 50 on. And it's just warm in my bones. I'm just sucking it up, the vitamin D. I was just talking, I was just doing an interview earlier for the Daily Express and, uh, what my love? Oh, it's all right, I've done it, thank you. That's all right, don't say sorry. And um, the poor journalist was telling me that it was pouring with rain, London. It just didn't seem fair, does it? So we're gonna pop down to the supermarket, get something for dinner. Watch the virtues, because then we're going to do a live review afterwards. And just continue to hang out. Because when we get back at the weekend, it's full on. Oh, and I've got a little surprise for Mark. He hasn't noticed, but Joe Wicks has sent him a little message. I haven't clicked on it yet, because you can click onto your private messages. And then, I didn't realise this, some videos are sent just to disappear as soon as you've read them. A bit like... You know, a bit like a spy paper that spontaneously combusts. So um, I'm going to go down and show it to Mark. See his little face? Been so good. I'm so proud of him. 
He hasn't. I mean, he's had a few little extra bits of bread, a little bit of olive oil, but mostly he's totally stuck to it. I don't know how he's done it because we've all been stuffing our faces, drinking, everything. He is amazing. And the thing is, all the results he's, he's getting, he bloody deserves because he's put the work in. He's looking incredible. I'm kind of half tempted to do it myself. So we are at that point in the day when Betty suddenly goes very quiet. What are you doing? Doing again. <laughs> Is that patience? Uh, it used to be called that, didn't it? It's so amazing the way you just come and just do that for hours. Do you love it, Mum? Yeah. It's really mindful. That is actually mindfulness. Look at it. I didn't mean it. Are you good at it? Oh. It's not Did something you you're good at. Yes, you win every time, really. Oh, it's a game you can't lose in. No, you can. I mean, most times you can manage to win it. Have you seen this game Betty plays, Dad? Sorry, Dad. Have you seen the game De Betty plays? I've seen them, yeah. I haven't played them much. <laughs> and look at your gorgeous salad. Isn't it lovely? Why don't you have some? No, I don't fancy it. Okay. Which is very unusual for me because I always fancy salad. Would the girls like any? No, they never eat bloody salad. Okay. Well, I first like having a salad, you know. Is that your dinner? Yeah, yeah. But I did, I feel the, the need for a salad sometimes because we had such a rich lunch. And what are you up to, Nanny Di? Hello. Say hello, Sad. Hello, Sad. What are you up to? Are you hungry? We're going to go and get some. If you get a pizza, I'll have a pizza. But where will you get you a like pizza, pizza from? I do sometimes when I'm really yeah. hungry. So, have you found it? Well, I kind of thought I'd put on... I thought I'd put on my baby blue. For him? Just for him. Just yeah. in case he sees you. Just in case Joe sees me seeing him. Oh, okay. Turn it around and click on it, in case it was one of those that disappeared. Turn it around? Yeah, so the subs can okay, see Okay, I'm it. just going to turn it up. The level of commitment you are showing to this plan is absolutely phenomenal. You are going to have a great transformation, mate. So oh. keep doing it, keep it up. Every single day you smash them workouts, you're chipping away at the body fat, getting leaner, fitter. Really impressed, mate. Mark, the level of commitment you are showing oh. to this plan is absolutely oh. phenomenal. And it's happening to Rocket Man. Yes. yes. You are. You are having a great you transformation. You are having a great transformation, mate. <laughs> oh. Well. You are going to have a great transformation, mate. Keep going. Every single day you smash them workouts. You're chipping away at the body fat, getting leaner, fitter. Really impressed, mate. Joking aside, his little messages are really, really spurring me on. Oh, of course. So I really appreciate him taking the time and effort to do that, because actually, do you know what? It means that when I get up in the morning mm. and I don't want to do it, and I'm lying there thinking I don't want to do it, I do it. Exactly. It's and nice. I just eat crisps. It's a nice personal touch. Joe, you rock. Where's Joe, your... we love you, Joe. Am I imagining it, or did he have no beard in that last trip? No, he didn't. So he shaved no, it off. He's so manly, he grows he a beard overnight. I never knew you had a beard. Overnight beard? Overnight. That's what you can do if you do this. Oh, man, is that what I'm going to get to? Am I going to get to that level of hair yeah, growth? Yeah, probably. Do you think I'll get to that level of hair curl, Nadia? My hair's got, got curlier since I've got fitter. Yeah, look, it's got a kink in it. Have you noticed? Do you think I might get curly hair and a beard? You turn me into Joe. Everything Joe is. Why not? I, know. I even wanted the chap in the back of the car and I don't even know who he is. And he even plays the same music as you. And he's playing Rocket Man. <laughs> I'll show it to the girls. <laughs> Can you tell these are pyjamas? I think you look really nice. They're actually prime up pyjamas. We're going out in them. I think they look really nice. Do they look less like pyjamas because I've got this jacket on? No, they look like you're up for a good time. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Whereas actually we're just going down to the supermarket to yeah. get pizza. This is our idea oh, of a so night out. Lovely it is, Mark. Yeah, look, this is our square. Isn't it beautiful? Everything about it 
is inconceivably spotless. That's the thing. My nan would have loved it here. My nan never went abroad because she always said, Nanny Thelma, I don't know. Couldn't go abroad, Mark, because it stinks. It'll smell. And as I was driving, she was so racist yeah, in the way was, that generation. She was so racist. But I, I said to my mum as we were driving through, I said, there's, you know, there's not even the slightest whiff that she could have had a complaint about, and it's as tidy as muddy. For she'd have loved this. Just she'd love the sun. Saturday, we're back to the main road. Why did you take us to Saturday? I don't like, know. That was, was if I'd have done that, you'd have said stay in the moment. No, no, sorry. Stay in the moment, be in the now. So our timekeeping has been very lax whilst we're out here. We literally were the last people out with two minutes to spare. And as they checked out my <laughs> bowling ball, Mellow. the lights went off. But you know what? That's holiday, isn't it? You just you're not watching your clock the whole time. You're not clock watching. Clock watching or watching your clock or your clock. I beg your point. That could get very dangerous. You're certainly not watching that, Whatever darling. You do, don't watch your clock. Yeah. <laughs> Say what? Funny. I just keep looking at you and thinking, God, you're a little lean whipper. I just keep looking at you and just seeing his face. <laughs> it's so weird. You look so like him in some ways. I'm going to have to get on with my bloody workout and diet. I haven't got back. a front door key. You're so slim. Hmm? I look even, even wider. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. No. Crashed in. Little darling. Here There's that gorgeous pool. So Mark now has to uh, I'm gonna edit. edit the vlogs. <clears throat> edit the vlog. No rest for the wicked. Whilst I make lean little winner dinner. Lean little winner dinner. So Dad, fill in, fill in the next word. It wasn't the grass that tickled your ass. It was my... No idea. Finger. <laughs> <laughs> I've brought another. <laughs> I've brought another melon. Magic. You oh. watching Cory? Betty's watching Cory. Betty's right watching Cory. What's happening Is in that Corrie, Gail? Mom? What's your Why are you asking? You never watch Gail's it. Gail's hair never changes. Neither does it. Neither does Gail. She's a phenomena. She's preserved in aspic. Because, what was it? It wasn't the grass that tickled your ass. it was my... Feather? <laughs> Dad's forgotten it. Dad, hey. it wasn't the grass that tickled your ass. it was my... Finger! <laughs> so we've had a busy old evening. Mark's edited the um, vlog. We watched... Virtues. Virtues, and then did a live review of it. And we've just been planning our day tomorrow. Um, I think we're going to go back to the cove again tomorrow um, and do some underwater filming, which sounds very flash, but it'll probably be me putting my head down into four inches of water while filming it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We but Kiki, Kiki really, really wants to swim in the clear sea and I always love going in the sea so that would be nice and Betty and Teddy really wanted to go back to that spot because they loved it we have the potential of one moody teenager Maddie who doesn't want to go she doesn't want to get in the sea but I think she's been a bit miserable about that I think if she just got in she'd really enjoy it so we're just going to try and convince her to come oh god look I've got light coming out of my eye look like I'm an alien look Hey, look, come over and say goodbye to people because, oh my God, I've just realised you've been in your pants the whole time. I don't think we can use this. Oh. Look. Oh, <laughs> anyway, night subs. Does anyone know if I have to worry about this? Look, I've got a swollen vein there that I never used to have. Look. No, there's only one. <laughs>